It's been a really busy month when it comes to snow and precipitation. Today, Boise picked up 2.9 inches of snow, which is more uncommon for March. And the March moisture may even look more significant when we compare it to conditions we saw last year. So this is the overview of the Middle Snake Basin. We're sitting at 135% of the snow water equivalent for this time of year. So if we look at that same basin and how we've accumulated that snow over time, you'll notice 2022 and 2023 kind of go parallel to each other from January to March. We saw more precipitation this year, but it was a similar trend for the first few months of the year. March is where those trends start to diverge. You can see opposite trends where we start to talk about that March timeframe. Overall, this pattern is consistent over many snow tell sites in southern Idaho. So what do these two wildly different scenarios mean for the runoff and the possibility of flooding? In 2022, the Bureau of Reclamation say they went into flood control for one day. This year, the Bureau of Reclamation says they'll be entering flood operations starting on Monday. They'll be releasing extra water for at least five days with another possible increase on the 10th. So the Boise River will be running high. Also, while we're talking about increase in precipitation, parts of Southwest Idaho are drought free for the first time since late 2020. New weekly numbers from the U.S. Drought Monitor were released today. The yellow area shows abnormally dry conditions. The beige and orange areas show moderate and severe drought, respectively. Overall, drought conditions continue to improve, and we will likely see continued improvements as the snow starts melting. But how quickly that melting happens will play a big role in the chance of seeing flooding. I'll have more details on that tonight on the News at 10. 